Let me now show you something that connects this quantum function evaluation that we are going to talk about in a moment with uh, quantum interference, with introducing phase factors to, uh, to, to superpositions of different states. In order to explain this uh, simple operations that uh, of phenomenon which we call the phase kickback, uh, let me just analyze two qubits, the, the simplest possible scenario. So imagine that you have uh, two qubits, the top one and the bottom one, and uh, the circuit here, um, if you look at the top qubit, you think, well, you know, it's almost like the, the single qubit interference. It's just Hadamard something Hadamard. And that something, you know, if it were the, the phase gate, you would have the golden circuit, the, the quantum interference, Hadamard phase, Hadamard. But it is not Hadamard, uh, but, but this one here is not the phase gate. It's, it's a controlled U gate, um, which means that uh, if this qubit here is in state zero, then nothing happens to the second qubit. But if this qubit here is in state one, then you apply, apply this unitary operation U. Now, suppose that you prepare the second qubit in some state U, which is an eigenstate of this unitary operation. So that uh, U, unitary U acting on state U, gives you some phase factor EI phi and uh, the state U. And here you just, you know, we start the first qubit in state zero. Now I will now show you Spoiler again that um, this construction effectively introduces the phase factor that the whole thing here acts like the uh, gate that would introduce phase phi here. Um, so let's see. I mean, let's let's walk through this circuit and see how how that works. So the first qubit initially in state zero, the second qubit in state u. Then the first qubit goes through the Hadamard transform, so we apply the Hadamard to the first one that brings the first qubit to the superposition of 0 plus 1, and uh, the second qubit is in sti still in state U. I, I, just, I just dropped the normalization factor 1 over square root of 2. And then, so well, before we just look at the controlled U, let me just write this expression here more explicitly as 0 tensor u plus 1 tensor u. Well, the control u operation. So you can see that uh, the control u will take us to 0 tensor identity to u. Sounds weird, right? Identity to u. <laughs> we apply the identity to the state vector simply because the control, the top qubit, is in state 0. Um, plus um, one tensor, and we apply unitary u to u. Now, this unitary here, um, acting on this uh, eigenstate uh, u, gives you a phase factor. So, just wrapping this up, you can see that this gives you zero u plus e i phi one vector u. Um, now I can factor out the, 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 the vector the u uh, from, from the second qubit. So you can see that the state right here after the controlled u operation is going to be 0 plus e i phi 1 tensor you. Right, so look at this, the phase gate, right? So essentially what we what happened now is, is we introduced the phase factor EI phi in front of one, so it's like a phase gate. So then you know what's going to happen later. The, the second qubit will stay in state U, as you can see, and uh, acting with Hadamard gate on this state, you'll get the usual cos phi over to zero minus I sine phi over to one. So here's the phase kickback uh, trick where we, instead of, instead of having the phase gate, we have something more complicated. So you may say, well, why would you like to have something more complicated? Well, sometimes because uh, um, we, 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 we introduce those uh, phase factors in more complicated ways simply because in the process of computations here, 
we will have quantum function evaluation. So we do some sort of computation and we translate the action of the function evaluation into phase factors. Um, so that's how it works. But essentially the, the whole thing um, that you will see in, uh, in, in our analysis of quantum algorithms, you will have two registers. So instead of one qubit, you will have many qubits here. You may have one or many qubits here, and then you will have the Hadamard transform, quantum function evaluation, Hadamard or Fourier transform here. So this, this thing in between, sandwich between the two Fourier's or two Hadamards, um, will be something that will be introducing phase factors. So the huge quantum interference that will be happening in the top register. 